human capital around a little bit, Steve, because this hotel of yours, the Wynn, in some ways, as far as I can see, represents a real departure from what you got famous for doing. Um, the whole idea of you, I mean, your enterprises were famous for getting people's attention with pirate, with ships battling British frigates in front of the Treasure Island and the volcanoes at the Mirage and the dancing fountains at Bellagio. And here at Wynn, you, you, vi you seem to be violating some of the conventional wisdom. You know, let's put light in the casino. We matured. Uh, please don't, don't misunderstand. But there's an arc to this insight that you get. And I wanted to have a hotel that resonated with human aspiration, a puppy thing to say. And uh, since I went to Penn and I had a good education, I knew about the Precambrian explosion 680 million years ago. And life on this planet for that period since then has been determined by the warmth of the sun coming through the environment, our atmosphere, and water. And so when I'm doing a hotel, I'm sticking with primordial forces of light and flowers and water and trees. And I said, look, the audience isn't the street to watch fountains dance to Frank Sinatra, my favorite singer, or pirate ships that sink or volcanoes that erupt on, uh, on a schedule. My job, the, the, the audience shouldn't be the sidewalk. The audience should be the hotel. I had it backwards in the practice hotels. So I said, we will turn inward. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. <clears throat> like Sumner, there's a little salesman in all of us. So I said, the theater will surround the hotel. And I've got to block out the outside. And the way to do that was with a mountain. But oh. inside, that, was, that mountain is a lake of dreams, things coming out of the water, water changing color, the mountain changing. And it, interestingly enough, the Wynn Las Vegas is the first hotel in the history of gaming in America to hold both the Mobile Five Star and the AAA Five Diamond Award in both food and in the hotel. Uh, that's never happened. I think there are 37 Five Star hotels in America. Okay, I just, wish restaurants. Doing, I just want to point out that um, both Sumner Redstone and Steve Wynn have now issued free ads for the status of CVS and the glory of the Wynn Hotel. You have your shot. Um, <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about Yahoo Mail. I'd right. like to convince people we should be using it. And if you're using Yahoo Mail, I'd like you to switch to Yahoo Search. Jeff, with well, all due respect, we, we didn't get paid to come here. Well, I understand. Uh, yeah, okay, I just, so you know, I love Mike Milken and all that. We've been friends a long time, but. One of us on this stage flies commercial. You figure out who. Um, <laughs> what I was getting at about, about your design for the hotel was this was your vision. This was not, you didn't like gather people together. This comes out of something deeply, it's a, it is a genuine passion. And, and what I'm getting is at some point, I, I, I'm guessing, I'm asking, the person at the top, for all that you want to communicate with the people who work for you, you, this was yours, right? You set this because it was something you deeply believed. Yeah. I, we've designed and create the hotels in-house. We don't use outsiders. And I've been doing it with two other people primarily for a long time. And we are joined at the hip. I, I don't know where one of us starts and the other one stops. But the vision thing and creating a nice place, that's cool. But the franchise, the notion that tomorrow's better than today and tomorrow, day after tomorrow, better yet, comes from that, the franchise gets created. When people walk into the marble or fancy place and say, ah, I'm comfortable here. This is my place. Now, if you've got the staff, you win. If you've got the staff and a nice hall, then you're a cinch. But the nice hall, the fancy volcanoes, the pirate ships, the fountains, the lake of dreams, all that stuff, the 2.7 billion, without the magic of the people that touch the people that come in the building, we're losers, we're gone. And I live in an environment that's, that's very disciplined. I am very intrusive because I'm not in the food chain where Sumner Redstone is. Sumner has these companies with people that run them and he picks great people to do that. To a certain extent, I do that with my department heads, but I'm intrusive. I'm in there all the time. <laughs> <laughs>